Hi, welcome back to Gen Z Coders. This time, we will be working on a new project. We will be making a game. I don't know if you've heard of it. This is actually a pretty popular game. It's the Snake Game, right? And we're going to be making a modified version of it. So the purpose of the game is for Scratchy to get an apple. The objective of this video is for you to learn how to use the sensing, the operators, and the variables code. And we have not explored this right yet. So the first thing you want to do is get the apple as a sprite. So we're going to click on the icon and then choose the apple sprite. Right, so we're going to put it in the corner as its starting position. And you know, I think it's a little big. So I'm just going to reduce its size a bit. So I'm going to make it about 70. Yeah, that seems all right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to start coding Scratchy first. So we want to click on Scratchy and then uh, go to events and then drag the when green flag is clicked code block. Okay, next we want um, Scratchy to say hello at the beginning. Well, just because, you know. And then we're going to choose the if loop and we're going to put four of them. Okay, so in each, we're going to choose the key, uh, the key pressed in sensing, and we're going to change it to up arrow over here, down arrow here, then we're going to put the right arrow below that, and the left arrow for the last one. Now go to the motion code and add the following blocks. I'll explain to you what we're doing once I've made the entire code. So just change the numbers accordingly. Okay, so basically um what happens is that the computer so this tells the computer that if this key is pressed then change your x or y coordinate by the following amount right uh now we're going to be putting the forever loop so um we do this because what happens is the computer processes the code so fast that if you don't press any of the keys within the computer's processing time then the game simply terminates. In order to ensure that we have enough time and can repeat this as many times as we want, we put the forever loop. Okay, so now we're just going to run it. So I'm pressing the keys. I think this is a good time to pause the video and see if your code is running the same way. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is create a variable. This variable is going to be for this sprite only. Okay, and we are going to name it score. In programming, variables are like storage boxes. The computer stores information in them, which can be changed or used later. We will learn more about variables, but for now, we're just going to focus on the fact that vari variables in Scratch are mainly used for keeping score. So I've gone and changed Scratchy's name uh, from sprite 1 to player 1 because I just think that it sounds better okay um, so now I'm adding the uh, change score by 1 code uh, so basically I'm putting if um, touching the apple then change the score by 1 this basically means that if uh, scratchy is touching the apple then just change the score by 1 all right Okay, uh, now let's code the apple. So if you run the program actually, you will realize that it's extremely easy because the apple does not change its position. 
So let's change that. So just add the following code. So I'm just putting the clause in now. Okay, so let me just explain what I'm doing now. Um, the reason that we are putting the pick random um, basically code is because we cannot put specific coordinates because we don't want the apple to move to a particular position. We want it to go to any random position after, um, you know, Scratchy has scored one point. But we cannot put it as 1 to 10 since these are, well, since they're coordinates and not just random numbers. So what we do is we look at the most extreme positions, as I've already done, and that we would basically like the apple to go to. So for now, it's the top right and the bottom left corners, right? And then what I've done is I've inputted these coordinates, um, in the ran pick random position. So what this will do now is it'll generate a random position for the apple so when um, or if rather if Scratchy is touching the apple the apple will move to a random position. So let's just run it again now and see how this works. Right? Cool. Look. So the score has increased and the apple has also moved. Okay, well, um, that's it. Aforementioned through this video, I just wanted to introduce you to the other code blocks so that you'll be able to understand Scratch a bit better. I hope you got an essence of each, um, of each, but if you don't, don't worry, we'll learn more about it in the next videos. Besides this, though, if you still have some doubts, please leave a comment and I will try to help you out. Thank you for watching.